Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. It's back with Frostpunk, and I'm doing a new scenario here called the Arcs. Now, uh, the new the Arcs is uh, unlocked after you do kind of the main campaign all the way through. I'm gonna try it on medium settings here. It's my first time playing it, so it should be fun. So the seedling arcs, we have to uh, protect all these seeds and keep them from freezing. And it's saying the only way we can do this is uh, with automatons, because they won't freeze like uh, humans. So here we go, uh, let's get into it. So it looks like we got a new map here. Oh, cool. I'm guessing those four big buildings are where the seeds are kept. Let's see here. We've reached the generator site and the seedlings are safely stored in the seedling arcs. So we need to build a beacon so we can go out and search for the factory plans. So we can build more automatons. And we gotta keep the seeds above Chile or at Chile. Warmer than chili, <laughs> or they'll, I guess they'll take damage or they'll die. So let's check out all the resources we got here. We got some wood crates, steel, decent number of starting piles, but we got to get that generator going. And we got 45 engineers and one automaton. That's cool that we start with an automaton. Now I think the, the not the strategy, but the, uh, the limitation on this map is going to be people. I'm narrating it after the fact, so I know kind of what's coming up. So we'll just get everyone gathering resources and get that generator going. So we got four seedling arcs. And one nice thing about the seedling arcs that I've discovered is they can go below chili for a short period of time and it'll kind of start a countdown. So you can use that to your advantage. Uh, allow the seedlings to get too cold for a while and then heat them back up. It kind of buys you some extra time. But we're gonna, we're gonna wanna get heaters in all those seedling arc buildings pretty soon. Let's get that generator fired up keep people warm. Now I like to build, since we have raw food, I like to build houses right away and then a, f a food processing building, the mess hall, and I like to get one uh, medical tent up as well. But first, a couple tents. And a cookhouse so we can get that raw food turned into good food. They won't start eating the raw food right away, so you can you have a few a bit of time to do it. So like I said, your precious resource is going to be people in this th in this playthrough. So you can't build as many things as you as you'd think. I'm going to go with uh probably fighting arena first. Keeps that keeps the people happy. And notice that I put the medical tent, or sorry, the mess hall just outside of the uh, central ring. Because it can, it ha you can put a heater in that mess hall, so it doesn't have to be in the center ring. Let's get some more tents in there, keep people warm. And I stuck the automaton. The automaton can uh, uh, extract resources as well. So that's cool. The flying Faricos, I think. <laughs> they all got really cool names. Now coal is always the issue. Having enough coal. Because you want to fire up that generator and get it upgraded. But we need people in the cookhouse first. I found that you don't really need uh, five people in the cookhouse to kind of uh, satisfy the demands of a lot of hunters' huts, so I'll put five in there at, at first just to convert all the raw food into good food. OK, 
Tabs. So our, for our quest here, we got to res research and build a beacon and find the factory plans. I'm going to need to build sawmills and coal mines pretty early on once we get through these piles. And I do like to use gathering posts. Keeps your people warm while they're in there gathering. It also reduces the micromanagement of moving them from pile to pile. But there is a cost to building them. And you get most of the resources back, so it's kind of a, a trade-off. In the early few days of the game, it's not that cold, so people can go out and gather in the snow. And there's risk of them getting uh, ill, but it's not too high. So I'm going to get my workshop going right away so we get research going. And eventually I'll build four of these just to go really fast with the research. But I might not be able to get uh, engineers in all four of them because we're, we're really limited on people. So our steel wreckage is depleted already. Get that automaton. Probably on it. And we got to build that fighting arena, and it's good to have houses all around it. So I'll probably stick it up here. I should probably have moved it out a bit, but that'll be good. Hope rises. Yay. We're going through those starting piles of resources so fast. Really got to get uh, sawmill up. And I I think I do... Let's just see what, what the best thing to do here. I do beacon first, yeah. Just so I can get exploring right away. Because there might be some help out there. There might be extra people we can use. Uh, more automatons. More resources. So I, rec I recommend getting that beacon up pretty early on. We already got one sick. So we got a cold front coming up in at just after day four. So we'll have to keep an eye on these seedling arcs, make sure they stay warm enough. Right now they're really warm, so they're fine. Now, next law, emergency shift. We'll probably need that if we get low on any resources. We can work our people to the bone. So it's chilly there. I should probably build a uh, gathering hut, gathering post. But I'm going to build one down here instead, because we need the coal. Got to hook it up with the road. Another coal pile depleted already. So even though there's a good number of starting piles, they go really fast. We got that one automaton we can use. I'll probably shift him around, use, use him on the most, kind of the most important things. Whatever, whatever we need. Probably coal the most. It's so fun to watch them move around. Some really cool art, art in this game. And it always gives you the feeling that you're always freezing. It's a good uh, ambiance. So a couple more um, research buildings might have been overkill and a medical post. I thought I had built one, but I didn't. So let's get one in there. I put it in the center ring just to keep it warm. Probably could have gone in the in the second ring, but 
Now let's get that beacon up. The beacon doesn't need to be heated, so it can go anywhere. Stick it on the outer, way out from the center. Building three workshops was probably a mistake, because I only have 45 engineers. Now I do steam hubs, I probably shouldn't, I don't recommend doing steam hubs first. I recommend heaters before steam hubs. Because you're, it'll take a while to fill in your central ring. And heaters are enough to uh, heat the seed seedling arcs uh, for quite some time. Eventually you'll need them, but not right away. Probably do soup next. Or dueling law, actually dueling law. Okay, the beacon's built. Let's get, uh, let's take a look out there. It looks like there's a storm coming. So abandoned supplies, we'll go get that, but we gotta build a, uh, a scouting party first. Yeah, we got a storm coming. We gotta be ready, we gotta be ready before that storm rolls in. Now I took everyone off the uh, the mess hall just because we don't need we don't have any raw food. So here we go, off to the abandoned supplies. Now you don't start out with any kind of food building, so you got to re research the second tier first, and then uh, do like hunter huts or greenhouses. I'm playing mostly at 3x speed, just just so I could fit more into an episode. It means I'll probably make more mistakes, but I like to cram a lot into one episode. So right now those are all, the seedling arcs are chilly, and it's about to get cooler. So we might have to turn the heaters on in each one. Kind of moving people around here. Try to keep the resources flowing without building up too much of one kind. Okay, steam hubs research. We didn't really need them, but they're done anyway. Now see, yeah, uh, tier two. We're gonna need tier two drawing boards to to do any kind of food, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm gonna do faster gathering next, just to get those resources in quicker. That'll help us as well if we build a coal thumper later on. Okay, fasting, faster gathering went pretty fast there. Now we're gonna run out of wood, so I'm gonna do sawmills next. Oh, we got some recovered treasure. A broken automaton. So that gives us one more steam core, and we're just gonna keep Oh, we unlocked the broken automaton area, so we're going to go there next. Okay, they're warning us that the seedling arcs might freeze because it just got cool. Or it's going to get cool. So like I said, uh, if they go below chili, they don't instantly die, so you can use that to your advantage. So if you've got some cold weather that comes in and then some warm weather shortly after, like we have coming up at day six. You can let the seedlings get um, essentially frozen and there'll be like a ticking time down, which you'll see. And then you, you, as long as the window between the cold time and the hot time is short enough, you can 
kind of let them tick down and then let them tick back up without wasting any coal. So I'm just kind of checking all my resources here, see when I'm going to run out of wood, see when I'm going to run out of coal to prioritize which uh, gathering buildings I do next. So we fan we managed to find and fix an automaton, which will help us a lot. And we're going to keep going here to the industrial ruins. Now we're down to 53 meals. So at some point fairly soon we need to find a way to get raw food. There's only 30 wood left in that in those wood crates. But we do have three three wood crates in range of this building, of this gathering post, so I'm gonna jam one in there. And now we got heaters, which we'll, we can use just after day six there when it gets really cold. So next research, what should I do? I think sawmill, maybe coal thumper, no. Next tier. I end up doing coal mines first, but I maybe should have done a coal thumper. The only issue with the coal thumper is that it requires 10 people to man it to generate the coal and then you need at least two gathering huts which is like another 20 people and we're, we only have 45 people total so the coal thumper might not be the best way but we'll see but the the name of the game here is going to be automation because with such a limit on people, we're going to have to build some automatons or find them. So we can kind of automate this whole operation. So I'm turning them the heaters on. But I didn't really need to. I'm just turning them on early, just in case. I didn't, when I, when I filmed this, I didn't know if the seedlings would die kind of instantly or not. Okay, what do we find here? people buried alive but we got some resources so I'm gonna take those back or am I no I'm gonna push on I was de I have a decent amount of coal so I don't really have to come back right away I'm gonna do public house next And we're down to 15 food, so... Actually, that's why I did the tier 1 research. So we could get uh, either hothouses or... Actually, there's no hunter's huts. In this uh, scenario, there's no hunter's huts. So you you gotta make uh, the greenhouse. Sorry, the hothouse. And I recommend building them pretty close to the center. Or by a steam core. Steam... Uh, Steam hub. So it's about to get 10 degrees cooler. Just turning the heat on in some of our buildings here. Okay, we got tier one done. So now we can do uh, some food, some hot houses. No more hunter's huts, I guess. And the uh, hot house requires steam cores, which is kind of why I didn't use them in the main scenario, but we got no choice this time.
And with three workshops, the research goes pretty fast. So I gotta figure out a good place to put this. That's kind of uh, disrupts my perfect circle, but I want it to be pretty close to the inside in, inner ring. This is me trying to decide what the heck to do. Coal mines or coal thumpers. We have steam cores. Sorry, we have steam cores, so uh, I think coal mines might be better for us. Just because the coal thumper plus two gathering posts require 30 people or three automatons, which is just too, too crazy. So you sort of have undulating temperatures here. It went down, it's going to go back up here pretty soon. And then back down in day nine. Now I think once you get to day 20, uh, there's a new scenario that scenario that opens up. I'm not I'm not positive though because I haven't gotten all the way through yet. Time to rest, folks. Work out the day. So we found the factory plans. That ship is pretty crazy. So I'm gonna take all those resources back because we're going to need them and we're also going to need those factory plans to get the factory up and running. Yay, so the quest kind of moved along there, but let's do our next law. Moonshine. Moonshine is one of those uh, nice ones because it has only positive things but no negative. No downsides. Let's get that public house built as well. So the quest can be completed. Let's stick it in my second ring there. And we're completely out of food now. So people are going to start to get hungry. But the automaton has arrived. That's good. We can get it, get it uh, working on something. And you can actually put it in... You can have it work on the hothouse, which is kind of cool. So you get food going kind of 24-7. Wood crates are depleted. So we got 124 wood left over there. Let's get some people in the public house. Now the public house is probably, it's pretty, it's kind of an optional building. So if I ever need workers, I'll take them out of there. If I remember. So we got to get that factory, get the factory plans to the city, build the factory and increase the number of automatons to three. We got two right now. I have to build one. They're pretty expensive to build without upgrades, so I think they require a hundred steel and a hundred wood and a steam core. So here I'm going to try. Well, now that the weather's getting nicer, uh, turn down the temperature in those uh, seed arcs. No sense wasting that coal. Hey, coal mine. Coal mining is done. We're gonna run out of wood pretty soon, so sawmill next. Don't be afraid to pe take people off the workshops as well if you need if you need a few extra bodies for a short period of time. Okay, now this little quest here. Um, the engineer starts to work on kind of automaton research. Oh yay, the scouts are back. So lots of stuff here. I didn't have quite enough space for everything, so I probably lost some wood. Should have had some uh, resource depots built first. Gonna build one now. A little bit late, but 
Better late than never. Looks like they brought some brought some food with them as well. I'm going to do generator power next just to keep things nice and toasty warm. Yeah, and we'll get our scouts back out there to the mountainside cave. Now, our resources are nice and full at the moment. Uh, I'll bump up steel storage because we're gonna we we're gonna run out of space there. Okay, wood crates depleted. Gathering post kind of depleted. So I gotta get the sawmill in there, but I don't want to cover up any. Uh, those resource areas and I, I want it to be somewhat close so that seems like a good spot right there we can always tear it down once it's em like cut down all the trees and we can move it kind of to the left Okay, next law. Can't decide. Go with soup. Just in case we need more food. Now it's gonna get cold again in some period of time. Just after day nine. Okay, generator's nice and Nice and warm now. Level 2. We'll extend the range as well. I'm going to dismantle this gathering post because there's nothing uh, There's nothing around it anymore. We'll get a good amount of resources back. And I do... I, I need to get this sawmill up and running. So I put an automaton on it. Let's see what we have with this mountainside creek or cave. Oh crap. It has the potential to collapse on us, so let's get that stuff and get out of there. Take it back. Since the city's so close, might as well take it back and then head back out. Get some more storage going for that coal that's building up. Oh, what's this? Test subject needed. Okay. So it needs an automaton for 24 hours. And it's probably a worthwhile trade-off because once he's done his experimenting, um, you get an extra 5% bonus efficiency out of the automatons. He does ask for a steam core, though, so it does cost, cost time and resources. But overall, I think it's a good trade-off. This game's all about trade-offs. Now the factory, I want to build the factory pretty soon, but... I don't advise putting in a fourth workshop like I just did. Not at this point. There's not enough people. Later on, when the automatons can work in the workshops, I recommend it, but... Not yet. So that was a mistake on my part. So let's do medical post upgrade next. Heal our people faster. Let's get uh, let's get that factory built since it's part of the quest. Now we're not gonna have any workers to work it, but we might as well might as well get it built. Now the efficiency on our automatons is really terrible right now, but it'll. It'll take a while before we get the upgrades for them. I think they're in like tier th two and up.
Yeah, we're really low on workers here. Scouts are back. At least they brought some food. And we're almost... We're almost maxed on our wood storage. So I just... I just keep one person in the, in the cookhouse. Or the mess hall or whatever it's called. Just because... They, uh, they, they work through the raw food pretty quickly. So it's going to get cold again here, so I'm going to turn the heat up just ahead of time. Not really necessary, because I, fig I, I, f I figured out that the seeds don't die instantly, so don't need no don't really need to do that. Next, uh, next law. Cemeteries, I think. I'll be nice this time. Okay, temperature's about to go down. Let's get a coal mine in there. We're going to have no one to work it, but hopefully we can get some more automatons or re kind of reallocate some people. So we only got 50 coal left in that pile there. It's going fast. We only got nine hours of coal left for the generator. Oh, there it goes. Coal pile depleted. Gathering post resources depleted. Gotta tear down that gathering post. Get the resources back. It does free up some people though. Okay, on to the next research. What to do, what to do. Steel's gonna run out at some point. I should probably have done the steel up the steel uh, factory, but I did tier two stuff instead. Okay, this is where the he this quest needs a steam core. Um and it's worth it because you get that five percent boost. The automaton on the coal. Wow, that tier two research went really fast. What should we do next here? Proved heaters. Nope, efficiency. Because our coal is just about to run out. We're at 58 coal. Got to turn down the generator for a bit here. It is going to get warm really soon, so... So I'll just prematurely turn off the heat here to conserve coal. At the risk of uh, people getting sick. Let's check our resources here. Yeah, our coal generation is not quite good enough. Let's do another law here. Ceremonial funerals. It's a pretty good upgrade. Yeah, we're really low on coal here. So what I should have done is taken five people off the public house. But uh, what, we're going to need a second coal mine. No matter what, so built that.
but it just got warmer. Yay! <laughs> so we can turn the heat back down in the seed arcs. Save a bit more coal. Probably should have done faster scouts earlier on, but I think it'll be okay. And we don't have anyone working in the wood, the uh, sawmill, but we have a small amount of wood left, so coal is more important at this point. So we got two spare people after getting them, uh, getting 10 engineers working there. And I put an emergency shift on just to get more coal. So this is the end of the quest line for the automation project. So they're 5% better now, which is good. It's so cool how they integrate themselves with the buildings. Okay, next research. What should we do? Yeah, coal mining optimization would be good. Since we have two coal mines, that's probably better than the coal thumper. Because the coal thumper requires so many people and we don't have any spare bodies yet. Yeah, we have a good amount of food, so take the automaton off the, off the hothouse. Get it working somewhere else. Things are looking nice and toasty warm, but it's going to get cold again any, any in a few hours here. Just doing a quick save here, just in case. Just in case the game crashes. <laughs> there is autosave, but... I also want to do an experiment here where... I don't, uh, when it gets cold, I'm going to try to not heat the seedling arc and see what happens. Wrap up well. the frost is here. So it's warning us, the seedlings are in danger. Alert, alert. Now, you can see they got a little countdown starting there. So if that little countdown gets to zero, I think the seedlings die and you fail the whole fail the whole quest, but you can use it to your advantage, as I mentioned before. So you can let it tick down and then turn on the heaters and save yourself a bunch of coal. Okay, we found a new landmark, but nothing there. Let's check out the Icefall Mine. And next research. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do the coal thumper. Maybe. Just as kind of a backup plan if we don't have enough coal. Now we don't have people to work it, so probably not the best choice. So you can see those seedlings ticking down, and it's gonna get even cooler. Uh, pretty soon, so I gotta turn the heat back on. Let that kind of that timer rebuild itself, and then when it gets really cold, we'll turn the heaters back on. So yeah, I left them off for now. Let them tick down a bit, and then before it gets really cold, turn the heaters back on. Let them recover. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Cold homes. Got to keep keep them warm for a while. They're really cold at the moment. Probably should have done bunkhouses, but let's get this generator back on on level 2. That should keep those tents warm. 
It's gonna get cold though again. Now can we do another law here? Let's do radical treatment maybe. I like the little dialogue from the people here. They're complaining about the radical treatment, I think. Time to get the heaters on in our seed arcs. Because it's going to get cold in about a day here and we want them to recover. And I do want to build the next automaton, but... What do we got here? Our scouts have found a hasty exit. A lot of coal found, so we'll take that back. <laughs> Hope you're all okay with me doing narration after the fact. I find it's easier to play the game, concentrate on the game. If I talk while I'm playing, I, I don't play as well. So we need another resource depot here because our prepared food is kind of overflowing. And we got to build a cemetery, but I've ran out of time. Talking about uh, playing better, not really. So I missed a few of the quests along the way. I get, I get distracted on other little tasks. I kind of wish the status bars on the quest were a little bit bigger. There's those thin, really, really thin lines that show. You can see them ticking down, but it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I'm a failure. I'm a failure. Hope went down quite a bit there. But we'll recover. So let's get that cemetery up. It doesn't have to be... It can be way on the outskirts of the city because it's... It doesn't need to be heated. Yeah, heat's looking pretty good. Should probably upgrade my. Uh... Oh, good. Hot house insulation's done. What should we do next here? More scouts. Improved heaters is probably more important. Because if it gets really cold, uh, we gotta keep those seedlings alive. Or seeds alive. Oh, the automaton got stuck. I've actually never seen this before. So we can shut down the automaton or shut down the coal mine. I'd rather shut down the automaton and try to get any workers in there that we can, but we don't really have that many workers. Oh, we got amputees. Okay, now they're complaining about the automatons, but we need them. We can't, we can't slow them down. Let's do overcrowding next, so we can fit more people in those medical buildings. We gotta pack them in there. Now, I really want to build that next automaton for the quest, but don't really have the resources or the workers. We've got 17 hours of coal left, 16. We're going to need to do something about the coal situation, and it's about to get colder. 
Not good, not good. It's cause, that's because the automaton broke down. We really need to get some people in that second coal mine. I should have taken people out of the public house, but... Oh, I failed another quest. First time through. Lots of mistakes. The seedlings are freezing. The seedlings are freezing. That's okay. They can freeze for a while. I don't know why I did more scouts there, but I did. Okay, those people arrived just in time with some coal. Scouts. And we'll get them back out there to the broken tree. Okay, it's gonna go, it's gonna get warm again here just after day fourteen. So I think the seedlings or the seeds I keep calling them seeds seedlings. I think the seeds will survive. Without turning the heaters on. But we really need to get people in that coal mine. Faster scouts. Oh, I think that's why I researched more scouts. Not because I needed more, but because I wanted the ones we had to go faster. Because we don't have enough people to make another scouting team. And I don't recommend that you build a second scouting team unless you get more people somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna take some people off the uh, off the wood, I think. Actually, our automaton came back online, so... It's good, and we're gonna try to build that third automaton for the factory quest. Things are running relatively smoothly. Hope is going down though, because of my two failures. I gotta decide what I do next here with the laws. I think I'll do the care house. Because that'll unlock uh, prosthetics, which we can build in the factory later. Got lots of food. Now it's just about to, oh get good, it's warming up again. And we, it's gonna be warm for a few days there. Well, relatively warm, minus 40. That's pretty warm. Our houses are freezing in the middle though, so we gotta stay on level two at least. And ended up putting a coal thumper in. Because we're going to need more coal. The alternative is to upgrade the coal mines, which might have been a better idea. It takes me a while to figure out where I want to put it. We are going to build one more. We're going to build one automaton, so we'll have some. We'll have more workers. Oh, a figure in the distance. Okay, those might be survivors. Which could be good, because that would be more workers. Which we desperately, desperately need. Okay, we got faster scouts. That's good. 
what should I do next? Tier 3? Don't think so. Um, bunk houses. That'll be good for when it gets really cold. And it looks like we got some cold weather coming up at day 17 and it gets cooler again day 18. Kind of scary. Now we do have uh, heaters, two levels of heaters, so hopefully that's enough to keep the seedling, the seeds warm. I'm gonna take a shot every time I uh, say say seedlings. Okay, now we're running low on wood. But all our workers are busy, so we really need to get that automaton out, up and running. Okay, next technology. I think healthcare heaters or insulation would be good. And there goes a helicopter, if you guys can hear that. Sorry if you can. I could edit it out, but I will not. Okay, we got that coal thumper up. We got no people to work it. So I'll put an automaton on the thumper for a while, just to get some coal produced, and then we'll put the put it back on the coal mine after. Then we can put some people, if we can reallocate some people, on the new coal piles from that coal thumper. Can I take people off the factory? Because we really need them on coal or wood. We can build the automaton just a bit later. I took every, everyone off research as well, just for the moment. Oh, the lone survivor. He didn't make it. Oh no, he lived. He's got bad frostbite. He's the sole survivor. Oh no, he's not. So we gotta save his people. We gotta find... He's got the Frostland and find new Manchester. Before the storm hits them. People are your most valuable resource. Oh, someone died. I think... I'm not quite sure who just died there. Nothing to see here. Moving along. Let's check out this snow crawler. Now we got two people complaining. What's wrong? Ooh, death from overwork. Come on. We must continue. And we got two hours of coal left. And it's about to get colder. Gotta conserve that coal. Okay, we exhausted the, we filled up the coal piles. So we're gonna micromanage uh, some people here to get some more, to get some gathering posts. As long as they're within the radius of that gathering post, uh, that's close enough. More complaints. Uh, what should we do here? We can get discontent or we can get hope going down. Hmm. I'll go discontent. So 
So we got that uh, third automaton built, so that got that quest done. But we got a new quest here. We gotta automate uh, our steel industry, our wood industry, and our raw food industry. And we also have to build a care house. We need more people. Actually, we need more automatons. So let's get some people in that uh, gathering post. With two to spare. Now we're done with the automatons. So let's take the factory offline. Now we're wasting, we're kind of wasting coal here. Uh, heating those uh, seed arcs, because it's warm enough at the moment. Oh, actually it's not. They're ticking down again. Oh, we gotta heat some homes. Hopefully we can do it this time. Let's crank up the generator. Those tents are cold. We really need to upgrade those tents. That'll save us a lot of coal. The snow crawler. Hmm. Defeated by the weather. Oh, three steam cores. Nice. Let's move on to the wrecked vehicle. Let's see what we got there. We got some of the some of the quest stuff done there. This seems like a good uh, good place to stop though, end the episode, and I'll have another episode out pretty soon for part two of this arc series. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we're low on coal and it's gonna get cooler, so it should be interesting in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.